welcome to e chemistry welcome to e chemistry class of fatima convent high school presented by myself dipali presented by fatima convent high school myself dipali we are going to start with class 10 chapter 1 chemical reactions and equations to start with this chapter we need to revise certain concepts which you have already studied in standard 9 so let us revise those topics we all know what is a physical change a physical change are limited to changes that result in difference in display without changing the composition some common changes which show us physical change are change in texture color shape temperature and change of state change in luster malleability ability to be drawn into wires density viscosity solubility mass and volume we know the whole world around us is changing and this change can be physical depending upon the change in these particular characteristics or it could be a chemical change a chemical change on the other hand are quite different a chemical change occurs when the composition of the substance is changed when bonds are broken and new bonds are formed a chemical change occurs when there is a change in color change in temperature noticeable odor after reaction has begun formation of precipitates and formation of bubbles so the world around us is constantly changing on the basis of physical and chemical changes let us see the difference between physical and chemical changes physical change in a physical change the molecules are rearranged with their actual composition remains same in chemical change the molecular composition of substance completely changes and a new substance is formed some examples of physical changes are freezing of water melting of wax boiling of water for example chemical changes are digestion of food burning of coal rusting etc physical changes easily reversible that is original substance can be recovered chemical change is irreversible that is original substance cannot be recovered in physical change no new substance is formed a chemical change is always accompanied by one or more new substance physical change is a temporary change chemical change is a permanent change in a physical change no energy is produced in a chemical change energy is produced physical change involves very little or more absorption of energy during chemical reactions absorption and evolution of energy takes place physical change affect only physical properties that is shape size etc chemical changes both physical and chemical properties of substance including its composition are affected so now i hope the concept of chemical and physical changes is very much clear to you Let's move forward to the next topic about octet rule the word octet means eight and the rule of octet is a very important rule in chemistry 
which tells us about the number of electrons present in an any valence shell of any atom now we all know that an atom is made up of electrons protons and neutrons the electrons are revolving around the protons and neutrons in a particular orbit there are various orbits according to the energy level now the electrons have a specific sequence to be arranged in these orbits but according to the chemical rule of thumb the octet rule says that reflects the observation that elements tend to bond in such a way that each atom has 8 electrons in its valence shell given its same electronic configuration as noble gases so each and every element out of the 118 elements the other elements other than the noble gases which are seen on the screen tend to become like the noble gases that is they either try to give and take away the electrons to attend the octet rule and become like a noble gas now let us see the concept of valency and positive ions and negative ions and radicals valency is another important concept of chemistry which tells us how much the bonding capacity of particular atom is or you can say in chemistry the valence or the valency of an element is the measure of its combining power with another atom when it forms chemical compounds or molecules the combining capacity of atoms is known as valencies the number of bonds that an atom can form as a part of compound is expressed by the valency of an element some valencies of few radicals are given in the following table ammonium nh4 plus hydroxide oh minus nitrate no3 minus hydrogen carbonate hco3 minus hydrogen sulfate hso4 minus carbonate co3 minus 2 sulfate so3 sul minus 2 sulfate so4 minus 2 sulfide so3 minus 2 phosphate po4 minus 3 acetate ch3 coo minus 1 senate sno3 minus 2 nitrite NO2 minus one, aluminate AlO2 minus one, zincate ZnO2 minus two. Now let us see the valency of first 30 elements of the periodic table, which can be easily memorized by the following trick. You can observe that the elements have plus one. Minus one, plus two, minus two, plus three, minus three, plus four, minus four, plus five, plus seven, various valencies. These valencies are nothing but the number of electrons which the element tends to either give or take to attend an octet configuration. the electronic configuration of few elements are listed here the electronic configuration is nothing but the arrangement of electrons in the shells of the atoms of that particular element which are very important to understand the chemical formulas of the compounds and the mixtures now let us see what is a positive and negative ion 
a cation or an anion cation are positively charged ions and anions are negatively charged ions they are formed when metal loses electrons and a non metal gains those electrons the electrostatic attraction between the positive and negative brings the particle together and creates an ionic compound such as sodium chloride you can see the negative ion and the positive ion difference between the valencies and the oxidation number valency is different from oxidation number and has no sign thus valency of nitrogen is 3 whereas it can have oxidation number minus 3 or plus 5 oxidation number is the hypothetical charge of an atom in a molecule or ion and it is a measure of its apparent capacity to gain or lose electrons within that space now here is a trick to remember the valencies of various elements you can see the horizontal lines or the rows are called as periods and the vertical columns are called as groups now there are several tricks to remember the elements of these groups which we can learn it later on in further videos at present we see that the elements of group 1 all the elements has plus 1 valency the elements of group 2 has plus 2 valency elements of group 3 has plus 3 valency element of group 4 plus 4 or minus 4 group 5 minus 3 group 6 minus 2 group 7 minus 1 and group 8 0 valency because they are inert gases in between you have the transition elements which have valencies which can vary from various numbers now let us see how depending upon the valencies and the octet rule chemical formulas of a substance can be formed three rules for writing chemical formulas identify the cation and anion present in the chemical for which the formula must be written write down the ions with their respective charges balance the charges by criss cross multiplication such that the cations receive the charge of ions and vice versa write the cation first followed by the anions If these basic rules are memorized then it is very easy to form any chemical formula Let us see few examples formula for hydrogen chloride symbol of hydrogen is h and symbol of chlorine is cl valency of hydrogen is 1 and valency of chlorine is 1 therefore when we criss cross the valencies the formula becomes hcl h is positive ion that is cation and cl is negative ion so we followed the three rules formula for hydrogen sulfide symbol h and o that is formula for water valency 1 and valency 2 for hydrogen and oxygen respectively and the formula becomes h2o and for hydrogen sulfide h and s respectively for hydrogen and sulfide and valency 1 and 2 formula h2s formula of carbon tetrachloride symbol ccl that is carbon and chloride valency 4 and 1 formula becomes ccl4 now here is an easy trick to make various compounds using this table 
there are first column tells us all the positive possible ions which you can easily memorize and the first row tells us the negative ions now you can easily put the formulas NaCl NH4Cl and you can carry on by various combinations of the positive and negative ions and form various compounds for today's homework you will have to write the names of these substances given in the chart against their chemical formulas this was a revision of standard 9 some basic concepts which will help us to understand the chapter further very easily see you soon with next lecture